Hey, where's your wheel on good? In the back? I want to explain it in my shorts so I just snapped the uh, wheel stud and this happens when I was at work and when you don't put this lug nut this, so this is the lug nut this is the wheel stud onto the wheel hub if you don't put it correctly straight and even look at this if you guys can see it So the threads will look a little, uh, I think they look dirty, pretty dirty. And if this doesn't go in smoothly, there are chances that the lug nut with the threads that match onto the wheel stud can strip, can cross thread with the wheel stud. So remember that, always keep your lug nut straight, uh, always hand tying it correctly, well, straight and straight, and then you can shoot it on with the impact and, and always always after you shoot on the wheels down always torque your uh your wheels with a torque wrench preferably the half inch all right this is one of my favorite sockets they're called uh swivel sockets half inch uh, 17. i'm gonna remove wait no wait i didn't know 17s on Toyotas, they're they're the uh, head bolts for the uh, Toyotas. Should be a 19. Uh, 19. 19. brake jobs you want to always uh, hmm, I mean not necessarily but it'll just be easier for you to set aside the caliper so don't forget to shoot this off the thing is we don't for this job since we're only, we're only replacing the wheel stud you don't have to remove the caliper not necessarily so you can remove the entire thing so shoot it off to 12 
decent that up. Uh, I gotta shoot this just. like this okay jay don't press on the brakes <laughs> um, wd-40 is always your best friend so you want to spray this right here so you can loosen up the rotor lubrication is always the best way to go so hopefully Pull one out. Some of the metal stuff. Um, out of the rims? Huh? Or the, the tire? Yeah, so these rotors are a little still, are still warm because he went out for a drive. So, what I was telling uh, my roommate yesterday, as you can see. Um, so technically to do the job a lot easier, you're supposed to use this one hole right here and hole right here. You have to find a screw that goes match will match that up instead of hitting with the uh, mallet. Depending on what screw it is, it's gotta match up with the threads in the inside. That's my tip for you guys if you're ever good doing a brake jobs on rotors like these. Some rotors, um, some rotors they have like a a screw, it's a Phillips size, and there is a specific tool I have for that, but it's not gonna be for this job. Like for a Honda Civic, for example, there's a tool it, and I learned from it when I was at the shop. It works like, it works beautiful, it works like, it works like wonders. Yeah, all right, let's get this stud up. Let's get this stud out. All right, now we're gonna hammer this out. We didn't need the punch. <laughs> yeah. So we got what do they call it? Brass. <laughs> call it brass. I told you it came with spares. Oh. Uh, you see this right here, right? So you got uh, this. It's your 19. This is for working on Super WRX. And we're gonna put this open end wrench right there. Sure, love that right here. Line that shit up right there. Yeah, I like that. Put it on the other side too. You have the key comes in there. I think you just drill it in. Fuck it. Yeah. It's supposed to go in there. We should do it this way. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Well, because it's the flatter side right here. What's the flatter side? Of the wrench? Got your wheel stood in. It's a little hot and kind of deformed. This guy. Preferably, when you're putting a new rotor back on, I like to put the lug nuts 
on to hold in place so that we can put it back on the the caliper on. The thing is you want this nice on flat when it's back on the hub. Just at least two. Oh wait, this is an easy install because I don't have the specific tool for it, but a screwdriver would be the best way to do it for a pry bar. Jay, I need your help. What? Probably oh, just hold it like that. to do it but I recommend not doing that why it's just not the proper way to do it there is a they call it a brake caliper tool brake caliper tool it's a easy tool to use so you push back the pistons nice and flat towards back inside the calipers See clap works too, yeah. Or another trick that I've also seen is that you guys, you, uh, you have to have a, a big ass like uh, channel locks. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Called channel locks. I have one in my box, but mine's small. He doesn't know what it is. But you see what I did here though? I hand tighten it first before I'm putting the impact on. For the back of the caliper. Ouch. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to wear my safety glasses and it's inside my car. <laughs> no. If you guys are watching this video, you guys are gonna call me, hey, you forgot to wear safety glasses. You're a hypocrite. That's funny. All right, let's put the wheel back on. Job is done. We fucked up this guy right here. We fucked him up. What? Can you unlock your car, please? Why? I need to turn back the steering wheel. Is it locked? Yes. I tried opening the door earlier. Here. Okay. Sorry if my ass is in the way. Alright, just retiring it again. So technically, when after your impact pin head bolts for the caliper bracket, you're supposed to torque them afterwards. Usually they're around like between 70, 70, 80 foot pounds, but I don't know specifically on the WRX. I just uh, impact in as tight as I can. Normally that's what mechanics do. If it's tight, it's never coming off. Just make sure it is tight. So, that's the love right here. And when you're putting the wheels back on, I like to use my knees. Sometimes people like to sit down. Put one right here, make it straight. And if it's a WRX, uh, the spokes on these are a little uh, tight in, so you kind of have to use your two fingers a little bit. And the other end just like that. I know like in, uh, if you're working at a mechanic shop, working for Express, like Toyota, Honda, Nissan, whatever shop you work at, you're gonna be rushed. You get it. You kinda wanna, you're, you're running flat rate. I'm hoping you do the job right. Without like, making mistakes. But the thing is, we're human beings and we make mistakes. Jay, you have an extra lug nut? At the back? 
wheel lock, never mind. <laughs> I forgot the wheel lock. So if you guys also have a wheel lock, make sure you have a specific wheel lock key for your car. Always. Because I know some, I know nowadays people get their uh, wheels stolen and wheel lock keys are your best bet. Your own specific pattern and yeah, your own specific pattern for the key and for safety as well, of course. And what, I mean, I think I should have mentioned earlier in the video, since these are like very thin right here, I like to use thin wall sockets, so they're a lot easier to use without damaging, without damaging the inside of the rim. Because you're gonna damage them. Uh, because if you. Let's see for instance. So, for instance, if you over torque these, you could damage the pattern of the wheel lock key and you have to get a new one, and then that's gonna be a lot harder for you to remove the wheel lock keys you have on your car. So just be very careful when you do have the right one and you never torque them. If you feel like there's some gold, gold nuts or screws lying around, make sure to double check the work No, Make sure to triple check the work at all times.